What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a portfolio on CarbonMade.com. So the first step in order to make your portfolio is to go over to CarbonMade.com. I will leave a link to this in the description down below, but you guys can just go ahead and type it into your browser because it will be much quicker. So anyways, once you're on that, all you have to do is press the sign up button and then this page should come up. And I recommend you do put in your correct information. Unlike me, I've put in some incorrect information, but the reason you do this is because you will be getting client emails sent to you. So obviously I recommend you use the email that you mainly use. And yeah, I'm going to keep it as that. Uh, I've got Tony White and then I'm just going to go ahead and press create your portfolio. Once you've done this, a separate page will come up where you can then choose your theme. You can I recommend Pancake, Mason, Side Scroll, Copy Barra, Lefty. They're the ones that I recommend. Um, you guys can go ahead and use the other ones if you wish, but I'm going to use Pancake and press I choose you. Once you've done this, it should say hatching your portfolio. And then once that's done, it will come up with a welcome screen. Just press go on, get started. And this is the editing screen where you, where like all this stuff happens. And all you have to do to actually view your carbon made portfolio is to go to the hyperlink at the top. And this will open up your portfolio on a separate window. So anyways, to get started, all you have to do is go to add a project. And I'm going to title this headers. Sorry if you can hear my keyboard as well. Um, so I'm going to title this headers and then I'm going to drag in this uh, header that I've made recently. And it may depend on your file size, obviously how quick it loads. But I'm just going to wait for this to obviously load and add to my projects. And the reason I'm not using Behance is because I think Behance is much more professional. And I only recommend that if you're obviously into logo design and things like that. But for designing in the COD community, I do recommend you use Carbon Made. So anyways, once that is done, we're going to go ahead and press done at the top. And now we're going to go back and yeah, this header should be added into the headers project. So the next options we have is obviously design and in, in design, we have a variety of different options. We have the portfolio title. So if we go ahead and put Tony's port, you guys can go ahead and put anything you want, but I'm just going to put Tony's port. You can add a tagline and a footer blurb. And to add a logo and things like that, you have to actually be a member of Carbon Made and you have to pay for that. As you can see here, it's a paid feature. So that's the one downside of Carbon Made compared to Behance. So going down, we have the background color. So we can change this to black, gray, white. So I'm going to keep it at gray. And then we have the accent color. And this shows up when you click the menu and you can see here it's come up with a blue screen. So next we have footer links. You can enable that. And then we have the font. I recommend the first font and then we have the header title so I'm going to keep it as this and then if we scroll down we have much more options of the actual layout design but I'm going to keep it as that you guys can go ahead and mess around with that as well so anyways moving down here we have site settings in here you can change the domain you can change this an unlimited amount of time so that's a good thing about carbon made you can change your domain to anything you want and then obviously here we have the site title and the description so you can put in say social media designer and I'm going to keep it as that. Um, I'm not going to be going through obviously every setting and changing it because I'm going to let you guys do that. I'm just going to go through obviously how to make it. So next we have the about section. On the about section you can add a job, job title, location, blurb. So say on job title you could put web designer, you could put illustrator as it says here. On location you can put where you're from. On the blurb you can just say a bit about yourself, uh, same as biography. And then you've got the experience, education. And this really, really does help to obviously gain clients because they can see your skills. They can see all your experience you've had with graphic design. And if you don't have any experience, just put that down. Say you're just learning graphic design and they'll understand that. So if we go back, we have the last page, which is contact. And under contact, you can change availability. So if we press now, what happens is that people can type in a message and it will send to the email you have linked to your carbon made. So that's why you have to put a correct email in because it, these emails will send to your um, email that you've used to sign up. So if we go back, that's really about it. We, we then have, obviously, if we click it, this is our uh, finished carbon made portfolio. But you guys are going to be having more designs than this. This is just um, for tutorial purposes. So anyways, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's been short, but a lot of people do ask me how I make my portfolio. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. This has been Visual or James, and I'm out. Peace.